Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of Super Calling Gaming Mario Kart 8 Roulette Challenge where Ben and I are trying to three star every cup with randomly chosen carts and characters. What's up, Ben? Oh, hey! I'm, I'm only okay. Last round I came in last. Well, I came in first. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I feel like I've been doing actually reasonably okay at this 200 level yeah. and I was feeling good and I was excited and motivated. The the 200 is no joke, and the, the card selection, even when it seems okay, can be weird. Or good, or bad. But can we get some uh, characters and cards, Derek? 10. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh no. Oh, yes. I don't like it at all. Uh, this isn't good. 9. Oh. Uh, nine, so 7. Eight. Oh, fuck. Ah! Look at this. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, yeah, this isn't going to be good at all. We are going to be bad. 17. <laughs> All right, okay. One, two, three, four, is it possible five, six, my problem seven, eight, was is that I've had that little auto steer correct guy on the whole time? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Five. <laughs> you look ridiculous. <laughs> is that windshield helping your knees? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You're, One. this is... Uh, uh, yeah, oh, I can't wait to see how you do. <laughs> this is gonna be, this is gonna be ugly. All right, I think we're gonna do the Star Cup today. Uh, as you can see, so far we have uh, we've hit, we three starred three and just missed the Flower Cup because it's the worst one apparently. Here we go, Star Cup. Oh, Sunshine, this card has me immensely worried. Oh, I'm worried about the fact that we're it both is, Bowser. I think it looks great. It is there so big. <laughs> Oh, it's so slow. Oh my god, I'm look at this. I'm just like I'm like a wrecking ball. Oh, I just slide all the way across. This is gonna be very difficult to steer. Uh, so, advice for starting. Oh my gosh, just do it. Oh, um, I think. Right, next question. Next question. <laughs> Solved. So, no, I think honestly, a lot of times for me, it is um, getting into a little bit of like the equipment associated with something. Ah, you know? uh, Ben likes uh, to buy stuff. The shopaholic. Uh, I qualify myself pretty good yeah, before yeah. I end up All buying right. something new. But for like, real. I do think that that's something that can make it a little bit more fun. Is like, you know, if you get into rock climbing, it's like, oh, I get to go get like a chalk bag, or I get to go get my climbing shoes, or a harness, or you know, just anything. Um, I mean, if you have the equipment for it, you're best. Right. Yeah, yeah okay, that's maybe that's the better way to put it. Yeah. Is that like, like if, if make an investment and then the 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 money you spent will motivate you. Yeah. Because otherwise it's like, what I spend this money for? Got the turning on this guy is so bad it's it is just not even funny. I don't know like, if you guys are what yeah. If you look at my screen, this this turn I'm on right now is okay, but the moment I start drifting, my like back end just goes flying out. And it is whoa, there it goes. That was a good example. Like I've got to make the long turns. So how, how do you keep from uh, starting to quote unquote tomorrow? I, I assume by that you mean, um, like mm -hmm. that every no, like, the, uh, tomorrow is always a day away, sort of thing. Yeah. Right, right. Like I'll start tomorrow. Um, let's see. Let's see. Uh, the, okay, this is how. This is how you do it. All right, Jay, lay it on me. I am so excited to hear what you're about to say. Okay, so what you do is you have to realize that I think a lot of times when you start something new, you're thinking about every single thing you're going to have to start or every every single component of that project. And what you want to do is just focus on the like the first thing you have to do. That is very true. So you that know? was something that like mom and dad, I feel like, always said to us growing up. Yes. Sort of the idea of like... You know, you don't run a marathon. 26 at miles at a time. Yeah, you run it, it's a mile yeah. at a time. Yeah, you run so it a mile at a time. You're gonna do a mile and then two miles and then the next mile. Yes. Um, so I think that's super true. I think that like, okay, so that was even something where I can I can go back to rock climbing a little bit because you and Beth started rock climbing and you guys were like, I really think you're gonna like it. And I was like, really? Like, I don't think I'm gonna have fun going and like following the color patterns and stuff like that. And you show up and you see all these people who are really good and you're like, I'm it's gonna be intimidating. Gonna, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm never gonna be like that person. Um, but so I think what was so great was that like I showed up and it was like, okay, like I'm gonna see if I can do like one of the ones that maybe you can do. Right. Like that's my new goal is like, can I do one of the ones that Jay can do? Right. And um, I think that was really great because it was just sort of like a much smaller goal than, than trying to be the best person to get. Yes. Uh, another thing is to uh, 
do stuff with other people or yeah. have someone who can hold you accountable. We talk about that a lot, I feel we like. We do. Um, it's just, it's such a good piece of advice, I think, for almost all things. Oh my gosh, you're just stupid. Oh, what the? I've never oh, been geez. down here. Never been down here. Okay, sure. Uh, gonna, uh, this is going to be a slippery turn. Yep, I can see the water. It's not good. Slow. I don't like it. Mm. Yeah, that was one of those things that, especially early on, like Super Carlin Brothers was such a big motivator. Oh! Yes, that is that is super super true. I think that was one of the things where it's kind of like, even the way that we we did the channel, it was very much um, like every other day, you know, and like always we lived together. Kind of kind of helpful because then on the days we weren't yeah. making our videos, the other person was down there. Right, so you were like constantly being reminded of the other person doing the work right. in the house. Um, I I think personally, I am someone who likes to um, likes to definitely set a goal and maybe a, maybe a slightly ambitious goal, which I think may argue with your point of taking it like one step at a time. But like I think if I can um, have something that like I would be excited to say that I had accomplished. Like I do mm. think that that is one of the benefits of social media is that. It's even that idea of like, you know, when I finally get there, I'll get this picture of this. True. Like of, this, of me at the finish line with the medal or... What's the most, uh, what's the biggest thing you've ever done just so you can take a picture and post it on social media? Oh, man. Uh, I feel like it's probably like a jump off a waterfall or something. Oh no! Uh, yeah, oh there, no! There was, that, I don't know if that was actually just so that I could post the picture of it, but in high school... <laughs> Sorry, that was a weird noise. It was a very weird noise. <laughs> Angry. Angry. Uh, in high school, we ran cross country, which I know we talked about. That's like the worst detail that we're probably bringing up too many times. Nope. Um, but the every year we went to Appalachian State University for cross country camp, which is in Boone, North Carolina. And oh my god, this cart is so amazingly bad, guys. I, I am in last by like a mile. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the the Bowsers are not good for 200, I don't think. They're just... It's so slow. The turning is so bad. Yeah. Although, I will say that Bowser, the Dry Bowser and Bowser both have really high top speeds, and on the occasions I, where I can just travel in a straight line, I can literally notice myself just, like, whizzing past people, but it's that's not most parts of any... Course. Yeah, so many, so much turning. Yeah, um, so much no, turning. The, the story that I was telling there was in, in high school, we were in cross country, we were at cross country camp, Appalachian State University. We went to a place called Elk River Falls, which has this amazing waterfall. If you Google it right now, you're going to be like, whoa, that's so pretty. Um, I really, really, really badly wanted to jump off of it, and our coach was like, um, no, like, definitely. <laughs> Dangerous. Definitely, definitely not. Um, and I was like, yeah, but like, if I do, then like, yeah, It'll be like, like girls are gonna think I'm really cool. Girls will think I'm cool because I jumped off of a waterfall. Uh, I actually won a photo contest with that picture, so <laughs> that you eventually, because you eventually went and did it. I eventually went and did it. So yeah, years after we graduated, or at least a year after we graduated, we found the same waterfall. And at the time, like it was not um, as easy to find things like that um, because it wasn't like there was like a online database of people who were like, yeah, remember at Custom Camp? You know, you sort of had to like actually track it down. Um, so we did, and I jumped off it and got a really, really cool picture of it uh, that I entered in a lightproof contest, uh, which was a phone case company, and won like a free iPhone and an $800 gift card to like the Apple Store and stuff. And it was, I don't know, it was oh really my cool. god. <laughs> what just happened? What, that person, what is going on? Welcome to my world. The world is Red but it's nice then, because once you're on land, there's no way to shoot people. That's true. That you is can only true. shoot people. I don't even. I, I just. I don't even think I know this course well enough to know like where the turns are or anything. It just it seems like it's all happening. So Keeping my draft and just hitting walls and. Is this is a great time to get. I feel like this cart is very good at. Uh, getting hit by stuff and getting me further back in the pack, but then it's also really good at catching up. Like once I'm in it, once I'm moving, I'm moving. This is the hardest part though. These right here, there's like, you can't drift on these things because they're so narrow. Do you find that you are breaking? How do you break? B? B, yeah, that's how you break. I had to learn for the 200. <laughs> oh no! 
I'm so gonna lose. This is it. There's not another item block unless everyone just hits themselves. Oh my gosh, they did! Wow. Whew. Thank you, man. That was tricky. Ben, you come in last. Yeah, seven even. There you go. There you seven go. Seven places from last. Yeah. Not even in last of the points. Yes! Right. I'm still in first, so that's something, yeah, I guess. And we'll, we'll star it, right? If you I, win. Th uh, I think I can win fourth. I think you might, the lowest you can come in is third, maybe. I don't know. We'll uh, see. Okay, we'll okay, see. Okay, okay, we'll see. Okay. So, what is something that uh, maybe you wanted to start that you would have in mind? What stuff did you personally do? I'm not putting it Ooh, interesting. What have I question? Um, okay, so one of the things that is on my life bucket list, um, and this will seem daunting, and I can assure you that I'm not this good. Um, but one of the things that I want to do in my life is an Iron Man. Yeah, which... better get moving. Thanks, Jay. Yeah. That's, that's so cool. Yeah, I, I, I know. I can't wait to hear your goal because I'm going to completely put it down. I'm not, I'm not putting it down. Uh, I'm going to put down your effort. Okay. Accomplishing the goal, and it better be a good goal too. You better not have some type of lame goal. Um, so pressure is on now. By the time I'm done telling the story. Okay. Um, Noted. Noted. Oh, by the time you start telling the story. Yeah. They like to pick on me here at the office. It's like I'm the. It's like I'm the dumb one in the office. Um, okay. So. so the dumb Bernard. Like, all the stupidity with none of the looks. Uh, oh boy. Where was I going with this? We're talking about <laughs> Iron Man's. We're talking about Iron Man. Okay, so one of the things that I want to do in my life is an Iron Man, but obviously before you could do something like that, you need to just do like a fight Um, I like cycling and running both. I do not like swimming. Um, and that was something that, like, growing up, mom, for whatever reason, it was like the thing that she was insisting that I do is swim. To. It's like she knew. It's like, then I can tell you're the kind of son who's gonna want to do an Iron Man. What just. Um, but so, oh, as, no. as an adult, in order to gain access, like, to a pool where I can go and swim, oh. early, I need to join a gym. Uh, that would have that type of facility, which is like one of those things that I do think is like a barrier between me and actually getting the mood to, to start the process. Um, and I oh think it is gosh. because I- WHOA! Yes. You did, oh my gosh. I and got... I was telling a story, uh, uh, your goal is gonna suck compared to my goal. Uh, this is the greatest moment ever. Just got totally trashed by everything. So that would be my answer to the question though, is getting in a pool is one of the things that prevents me from getting towards a goal that I have for my life. Sure, sure. Mm, because you just don't have access. Well, and it's like, I pool. could get access. Like I have like the financial means to join a place that has a pool, but like, because I don't want, to, because I'm not excited about swimming, that's it. Like right. that, that's the thing that prevents me. We need to get a gold, Ben. We got silver. silver. It's embarrassing. And kind of we gaudy. should just give up. Oh, everything is the worst. <laughs> everything is the worst. We'll have to wait until next episode to hear my own personal, whatever my own personal goal is. It's probably going to be terrible though, so. Probably, so maybe don't even watch. But please do. Also, uh, like this video if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future Mario Kart action from us. Uh, that's all we've got for you today, though. We will see you next time. Bye. Let's go!